Hi everyone, it's Phil here from Ashland Leather and take a look at what has appeared on the surface of this piece of tumbled verdigris shell cordovan. This little bit of white look here, we're going to explain what that is and how to get rid of it. And before we get to that, I need to thank everybody for supporting us here during the holidays. A lot of people have been picking up wallets for themselves and for gifts. And it's just a real pleasure to be able to make these for all of you. And let's take a look at some of the items that are shipping out today. I have a couple, Tony the Ants, three different Johnny the Foxes, several of our brand new Capone money clips, two Frank the Enforcers, three Bugs Moran, and five Fat Herbies. So from time to time, Skip and Nick Horween commissioned some items from our shop to be made to sell on genuine Horween products. And this is a long wallet that we made for them several months ago in a leather called Tumbled Verdigris Shell Cordovan. This one has a reverse uh, set of black shell cordovan on the inside. It's a really nice looking wallet, but you might notice all this little bit of white chalkiness on the outside here. And this is an effect that happens on all hot stuffed leathers, like the shell cordovan leather from Horween, as well as the chrome Excel leather from Horween. And all this is, is the waxes coming back to the surface that had been tanned into the leather previously. So this is an effect that you actually would like to see. That means that the leather has been properly tanned and nourished with an overabundance of waxes, greases, and oils. And you can see here, when I just lightly brush over the top, those waxes quickly fade away. And I'm not putting much pressure on here at all. These are just waxes that are coming back to the surface. The reason you want to see this is not only do you, does it indicate that the leather has been properly tanned, but it's also something that you can consider to be self-polishing. So because there's such a high amount of waxes, greases, and oils in here, you can really easily fill this back in just with a little bit of brushing or even just some friction like you're seeing here from my hand. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just give this a really quick brushing here so you can see a little bit of the before and after. And as you can see, even just with a really quick brushing like that, a lot of that wax has really blended in. It's given us a nice bit of surface luster. There's still a bit of wax that needs to be blended in here. I'm gonna to have to take a little bit of extra brushing, especially to the sides here, where the wax tends to accumulate more often. But you get a really good sense of why this leather was called self-polishing. It was actually marketed as a self-polishing leather for many years. All right, let's take a look at some more stuff that we're sending out today. And we're going to start off with our brand new model. This is the Capone Money Clip. This one here is in the classic Color 8 Shell Cordovan. It's been personalized for PRG. A lot of people have been picking these up because we had a special launch price deal uh, for this last week. And I'm, I think a lot of people are probably just receiving them now. I can't wait to hear your experience with these wallets. If you've been enjoying it, or even if you don't, please feel free to drop a review on the site because it's great for us to see what people are thinking about it. And it's even more helpful because people that are shopping for a wallet, it's great to see a uh, real firsthand experience from other people that aren't me with each of these wallets. We've got the natural Chrome XL here. I love this natural Chrome XL. And I wanted to compare this very quickly with the natural shell Cordovan because you'll notice the color is completely different. Neither of these leathers have had any stains to them, uh, have had any stains applied to them, but both of these leathers are hot stuffed. As we saw with that bloom earlier on the black shell, that wax coming back to the surface, any leather that has been hot stuffed with waxes, greases, and oils will have that bloom happen. But the, the waxes and oils that are tanned into the shell are a different blend than the waxes and oils that were tanned into the chrome Excel leather. And I think that's why you're seeing the difference in color here. The other thing to note about the, the shell cordovan, it's a little bit more orange of a color and has much brighter and shinier luster where the chrome Excel has a slightly more beige sort of green earthy color. And the, the luster is also apparent here, but it's a little bit more subtle. It's a little bit more of a subtle sheen compared to the mirror-like finish on the shell cordovan. 
And speaking of natural Chrome Excel, here is a natural Chrome Excel Tony the Ant. This is a bestseller for us. The Tony the Ant is a great sort of minimalist crossover wallet where you have a bill slot in the back and two card slots on each side on the inside. This wallet lays very thin, so you can use it as a front pocket wallet. But we also have another Tony the Ant here in the Whiskey Shell Cordovan. And you can see here the Whiskey is slightly darker and a little bit more golden and yellow when compared to the natural Shell Cordovan, which I'll grab here. They're pretty similar, but you can see the whiskey is just slightly more yellow. And I have two Frank the Enforcers to show you. These are both in Dublin leather from Horween. And the Dublin is a veg tan leather with incredible grain character and a hard wax finish on the surface. So you get a nice depth of color and this really beautiful natural character in the Dublin. This is a leather that I really like to look at just because I love how pronounced the grain is on it. I just love the Dublin. And in English tan, that's my, my favorite Dublin color. I just really like this vibrant orangey tan. You can see the undertones are slightly more orangey and tan where the surface is a little bit more brown. But I also have this Frank the Enforcer also in Dublin, but this is the Cobalt Blue Dublin. And the Cobalt Blue Dublin has a nice little color shift here. Some angles, it's a little bit more aqua blue like right there and other angles, it's a little bit more navy, but that's a great color. We don't do this one as a standard item on our site. So this one was special ordered and there's something about the grain character here that makes this one really look like sort of waves on the ocean. And everything in the video today, this is not all the stuff that we're shipping. So if you don't see your item here, don't be alarmed. We will be shipping it out. Uh, and on that note, we've been seeing some strange issues with uh, USPS recently. And I'm not sure why that is. It could be a combination of the holiday and the pandemic. But we have been seeing slight delays of one to two days, sometimes even three or four days, uh, depending on where you're at. It seems like a local post office issue. Each post office seems to be run slightly differently. So we've been seeing minor delays, but the stuff does eventually arrive. But I wanted to show you this one here from the Fat Herbies first, because this is my favorite Shell Cordovan color, the Amaretto Shell Cordovan. And take a look at the color shift that happens right before your eyes. This is sort of the parlor trick that I like to demonstrate, and I love this color. I was talking about the English tan, how that was my favorite Dublin color. This amaretto is my favorite shell color for this sort of color shift, but also it's just a beautiful, vibrant, orangey tan shade. And then other angles, it looks a little bit more red and brown. It's totally beautiful. I'll give you a look at the inside of this Herbie here. That's a special one going out today. And we actually have a sale going on on these. I think we have several of these left. So if you want to get your hand on a fat Herbie and Amaretto shell, uh, there's a nice deal going on for those. And here again is another English tan Dublin piece, a little bit more orangey undertones, but definitely more of an earthy brown tone on the Dublin. And we get incredible grain character on the Dublin as opposed to the shell, which is very flat, flat and smooth, very much a mirror like finish on the shell. The Dublin is very grainy, very natural looking and something like the English tan. It really reminds me of like a piece of stained wood. And speaking of which, I should show you more of our edges because our team does a really great job hand waxing and burnishing all the edges for every wallet that we ship out. And here's another one. This is a natural Chrome Excel, really nicely finished edges here. But the natural Chrome Excel is the most popular Chrome Excel color from Horween. Again, it's that sort of beige, taupey color, a little bit more of an earthy shade compared to the natural shell. A really nice subtle sheen on that Chrome Excel. Here's another special wallet. And this is a funky one, and it's something we do called a double reverse. And this is a black shell cordovan on top of reverse black shell cordovan. And you might notice the section here where the ink stamp is. That reverse side of the black is not black at all. It's a green shade. But if you were look at, looking at the intended side inside of this, the black shell here, the reverse side of the black shells are that green shade. And they tend to range in color. Sometimes they're a little darker, more of like a forest green. Sometimes they're a little lighter, like a light tan with little bits of green in it. So the reason that we see this green shade happen on the unintended side of the black shell is in the finishing process, the tannery will actually dip this leather into a barrel of water. And that water accumulates some of these dyes and they stain the unintended side of the shell. And the reason it's green is because the black dye that Horween uses is a green black. And I think it's really fascinating. So we like to do reverse versions of our wallets to show off some of that randomization of color, as well as the Horween ink stamp. One more fat Herbie to show you here. This one is a beautiful natural shell cordovan with a great Horween ink stamp cut right into the center. This is a remarkable shell here. It's a really nice natural character. And that's not something we can control. These little striations 
but man, that natural shell is really beautiful. The natural shell Cordovan is the wallet that sort of started off the whole company here. This was one of the first wallets that we ever made, and it's been about 10 years now, which is really crazy to think about. I just love the luster of this leather, but the best part is the more you wear the natural shell, the more it will accumulate patina. So it'll become darker, a little bit more golden brown, but you'll also see layers of luster start to develop. So right now you can see it has a very bright, shiny mirror-like surface but the patina that develops is almost like it comes from inside the leather and underneath that surface layer, you get a nice layered luster effect, which is really special. And you tend to see that on a lot of veg tan leathers. And we're gonna wrap it up here with our most popular wallet style. This is the Giant the Fox. It's a traditional bifold with these three card slots on each side. And there's also two hidden card slots under each of them with a bill slot in the back. And these are designed to fit US dollars. This one is in natural Chrome Excel. Like I mentioned, it's the most popular Chrome Excel color. And we've seen just about every item in the uh, batch today in natural Chrome Excel. But this one we have uh, currently on sale with the black horsehide interior. We also have another option, which is really special. This is also natural Chrome Excel on the exterior, but we have a Chrome Excel horsehide on the inside to match that natural on the outside. I really like this wallet. They do bulk up a little bit thicker when compared to the horse side interiors, uh, but both of them are very nice. The, the thicker ones just tend to have a little bit more break in time to be able to fit the three cards inside each slot. And I'll try to give you a good look at the thickness difference here. And the last wallet to show you today, this is a special piece. And when I was polishing this up, giving it a nice brushing, I thought that this might have been one of the nicest pieces of shell that I've ever seen. It has just such a rich feel and that great mirror-like luster. This is a really nice shell. And I'll give you a, a little bit of a longer look at this because uh, they're not all this nice. And each of them are just slightly different. So we're talking about degrees of nice at a certain point. This is a special garnet shell cordovan piece with a mock horsehide interior. And this, this color here on the inside is what mock is, M-O-C. It's just a shortened phrase for moccasin. And I think it's this old tannery color that represents this light tan, sort of taupey, uh, little bits of yellow color. And I love how that mock interior really sets off the color of the garnet shell on the outside. So this one is my stunner of the day. I hope you enjoyed looking at all these wallets with me. If you have any questions, definitely let me know. And until next time, hope you have a good one.